Hey everybody, welcome, it's Calvin from Spacebox Animation and in this video I'll walk you through part 2 of how I made this character uh, consider subscribing if you're new and uh, the video games uh, so what I did um, I opened Blender for this one where I'm, I'm going to import the character we exported from uh, character creator for to blender so what I'm doing here is uh, trying to arrange things where I select the light and put it in its own collection uh, camera and then press M on the keyboard new collection call it cameras and then uh, this cube originally is 2 meters by 2 meters so I just try to move it above the Z axis I think I save don't forget to save always save and then he using the character creator 3 blender uh, by plan plugin by plan plugin I can't speak I uh, import the character that we recently exported from character creator 4 then wait for it Boom, there you go. So I like I like the fact that the character comes in T pose. Um so yeah, the character comes in T pose and when you play your animation is usually the frames that follow, which is a good thing for especially simulation and all of that. Um so what I do here, I, I can delete the cube. So let's try out some materials. Let's see if they have loaded and all of that. I just create a different tab and then reset the camera by pressing Alt G and Alt R to reset the rotation. And then I have to rotate it on the x axis 90 degrees then just move it in place until you see your character so here I'm just changing the focal length I think see that when you play your animation make sure it works so we need to adjust the number of frames so what you do is select and go all the way to where your frames end make sure you can see where your frames end and just copy that number and paste it so when we play our animation, it should loop. Just need to adjust the camera a little bit. So I'm trying to adjust the angle of the camera to see how it will all work. So what I do, um, I'm going to export the character as a um, alembic file. So what you do is select the character, not the 
rig but the character itself then go to file export each as an alembic so um, I like to separate the file names in, in such a way like the file I get from blender the alembic file I get from blender I just give it a name like B oh, and make sure you s click on selected so I give it the name B like for blender and then the file I export from marvelous designer I call it um, MD when I'm done I select and export I think it backs the animation there you go so with Mar marvelous designer open import your alembic file um, just making sure it's working it hasn't frozen uh, so for marvelous design I'm using the regular mouse button uh, so what I do is import everything is okay 60 frames I think per second when you try play your animation let's try that boom plays that's really 60 frames per second I can see so here is where you need your character in tipos um, you're going to create the clothes simulate the clothes when it's in tipos then when you record the simulation see it will be easier for you to put the clothes in clothes god i can't talk clothes in tipos because it's really quick like you can do it in with a post character i've done that before and um it's hectic yeah honestly um but on the other side you don't have to record your simulation so for marvelous designer you need some power for machine so what i do what you do is what i did here i just drag the cloth because this one came with a template i'm using marvelous design 11 i dragged in the clothes and um, i just adjusted to where they fit So when you're done adjusting just press the space bar and it will simulate boom there you go same thing for the pants just drag and drop add I'm trying to delete what's not being used to minimize the number of layers because you can create the clothes in layers like the pants in one layer and a shirt in one layer so I'm just renaming and saving please don't forget to save let's just give it a different color random color don't like overthink it like I do. I do overthink about these colors a lot. Let's just adjust the pants to where they can simulate and fit. Still overthinking which color to use. Tomorrow. Tomorrow for sure. Eventually. Uh. Let's just adjust the size of the pants so that they fit well. 
then I think I can work that silhouette. Waist seems to be so big. So what I'm doing here is really just trying to fit the uh, pants on the model um, I think I messed up somewhere uh, where the legs are you know kind of too close to each other but yeah it will work out so what I'm doing is uh, creating the, the thing the waist line just right click offset internal path then I put it to two centimeters same for the back and then right click cut and sew to separate it just right click the middle and right click cut and sew left click then right click and cut and sew then I think I just need to adjust the waist so that it's a bit tighter since our model is um, our model has a kind of a small waist Just select the waist and adjust and select everything so what I do here when you simulate just when you press space bar on your keyboard just click on the cloth and try to match it to the body and all of that so here I just move it up a bit simulate just adjust and see where it fits like what you prefer want another detailed kind of detailed video on marvelous designer let me know I'm not really that you know good but I can kind of give you the basics so here I'm just checking the UVs to make sure they are all in one you you should make sure they're in between the one one box they're in this box of one to one one yep just in within one and one just scale them to where they can fit yep that's it
so once you're done just press this big red button and then I think we just press to record make sure it's in real time and let frames typing this real time make sure all the frames uh, you know make sure the animation is playing to be playing but it doesn't seem to be complete so what I did is adjusted and make sure it's complete just try playing it until yeah keep on adjusting So when I played it, it wasn't complete. Oh, this one was complete. It was another video that I recorded. I don't think it was complete. I had to adjust the keyframes and yeah, to make it complete. Yeah, it was this one. The frames were not complete, so I had to adjust and make them complete. Then press the big red button and wait. It will take time depending on the power of your machine. Here I didn't really go complex, that's why it took um, it really took like uh, one minute, something like that. I think it took like one minute. It didn't really take that long. It took one minute. So I'm gonna try it out. See that you get your clothes simulated very well. I still don't understand why is Birmingham considered to have the worst English accent. Um, export and save it as MD. Export as an alembic ogawa and save it as whatever you want to call it. Then you can add MD for Marvelous Designer. Make sure that UVs are okay. Then yeah. Then go back to Blender. When it's done exporting, you go back to Blender. So open Blender and then import your the sim. Go to Analembic and go to where you saved your work. Select the one with MD and um, I think that's it really. What you gotta do is try out your animation. Voila. Yeah, so that's really it, guys. Um, the rest was just tweaking the textures like um, rendering, rendering, I can't speak, 
rendering and getting the lights you know straight and all of that like um but that's really how i made the um, animation and all of that uh so um if you would like to stick around and see uh, what i was doing with the lighting and all of that uh yeah enjoy um thank you for watching um if you're new to this channel it's growing um probably i'll make better videos than this um but yeah stay around stick around i'll show you guys how to do the easiest yeah not the easiest but the fastest way possible like creating character designs and animation like you don't really have to complicate things and um what else uh thank you very much for the 100 subscribers guys are amazing man um yeah i think that's all for me um yeah enjoy peace